Welcome to QNOW Videos. Today I'm going to show you how to do a spirometry on the old Vitalograph. This is uh, invented just after the um, Second World War. No, not really. But it is that old and it still works well though. I love it. I prefer this one than the other one. Um, it doesn't have a battery supply so it needs to be plugged in all the time. So I've just banged that in. So when it's just sitting on the side you don't have to worry about it. Uh, has a mouthpiece here that's where the person will breathe through and so you don't have to worry about contamination we have a little um, mouthpiece for the actual patient that's disposable now the plastic end you'll see there's a plastic end and a paper end so the paper end goes into the end of the mouthpiece to turn it on down the right hand side you'll have a turn on button here and this toggle wheel just makes it brighter or less bright. And it's got one of them old fashioned screens on it. It comes up with the date and it asks you to uh, enter yes or no. So there's a Y and N button standing for yes or no. So I press Y if I agree. It wants to know the ambient temperature, just in case we're at Mount Everest. And then it will ask for a reference number. Usually you can put in the patient's date of birth so it's an identification thing. And press enter through that. Ask the patient's age, 23 Derek? Yeah, at least. That would be good. Um, put in the patient's height, if I get all the numbers right. Uh, then it'll ask for their gender, and it'll say, it comes up with male query, yes or no. So if it's uh, male, you press yes. If it's uh, female, you press no. Then uh, ethnic origin, Caucasian, so I'll put yes. And then is this data correct? Yes it is. We press yes through that. And then to stop printing we can press the enter button because it takes forever to print. So I press enter but it does take a while for it to find out what I'm doing. Come on machine. Alright. Now this is the good page. It gives you a list of seven options of uh, what you want to do. So we want to do the FVC test, so the force bottle capacity test. So it corresponds to number two. So I'll press number two, and then it tells me please wait, and then it will go to ready, and then I can um, do the test with the patient. So I'll explain to Derek. I want you to take a big breath in for me, Derek. Put your lips around the outside and blow out as hard and as fast as you can until I say stop. Okay. So on your marks, get ready. Big breath in. And go. Blow, 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 blow. Kick on, kick on, kick on, kick on, kick on, kick on. All right, that'll do. That was really good. So the line keeps going because this test lasts 14 seconds, but it, um, it's very hard to get someone to breathe that fast for that long. So then you press wait, let it go through its tests. Uh, it'll give you the last displayed numbers and then it will ask you if you want to uh, do another test. So we just wait for it all. Now it's popping up and it says ready. So I can do another test immediately or I can press enter for menu. So if I press enter for menu I can do a print this out so I can print it out or if I need to give Derek say a nebulizer I can give him a nebulizer Keep the machine plugged in and turned on because if you do turn this machine off it will uh, wipe everything you've done. So if I've left it on, I've given Derek a neb, I'll come back and it has a post mode. So the post mode corresponds to the number 7. So I press 7. Um, do I want post mode? Yes I do. And then I press 7. Come on, yes I want post mode. Okay. And then I press, it will come up post mode in the corner. And then I press uh, number two again for force vital capacity. When the machine's ready, it'll tell you. And then you get the patient to do it again. So Derek, just get you to repeat that. So nice big breath in, put your lips around it, and blow out as hard and as fast as you can. In your own time. Go. Blow, 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 blow. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Go, 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 go. All right. Well done. So we'll see if that nebulizer worked on Derek, made him all better. So we we'll wait now for the results to come through uh, after the, after the test is finished, and then we can print them out and 
and send them all off. So the results are coming through now and we've got a good result, yes. So it says please wait, Pre press enter for menu or do another test. So we'll press enter to say it's all good and now we press number three to print. This is the secret. So press number three and it will print out the before and after data and then you can tear that off and show the doctor. Uh, things to note, this grey little box here, do not pull that out when you're starting or, or halfway through because um, all the data gets wiped out. Um, dispose of the mouthpieces in the bin um, after each use. New ones are in the top drawer if you need them. And to put the paper in um, that does occur, you have to put the paper over the, so it folds over the top and goes into the bottom hole of the black plastic and then comes out through the top. Um, the way to get the printer to work that way is you have to go through all the patient data and then it will start, the printer will start ticking around and you just got to let it feed through. It is, does take a bit of time. Um, thank God you don't have to do it very often. Here's the results of the test. So give them off to the doctors so they can see them and um, or we'll chuck them out and then just turn off the machine and it's ready for use for the next time. So thank you for watching QNOW videos, look forward to seeing you soon.